what do you see in these in these inflation figures? I mean, it's still pretty high at you know almost seven percent, six point nine. It's down slightly, but people are still taking a big hit uh, at the grocery store. Yes. I think we're seeing a, a sequence of different factors impacting uh, uh, grocery prices. Uh, and uh, when you look at, uh, at the major uh, food categories, uh, it appears as though the dollar itself is starting to impact uh, certain spots uh, at the grocery store. Coffee, tea are up. Uh, many cent center of the store items are up. And and that's heavily influenced by the dollar. So before we saw energy being a factor, supply chain fatigue uh, has been a factor as well, less so now, but your commodity prices were a factor for a while. But now there's, uh, there's, a, new, there's a new factor. I think the dollar may have actually uh, played tricks on us in, in September. And uh, of course, there are other factors that may actually be looming, like for example, supply management, the cost of dairy, dairy is starting to come up a lot. Uh, month to month, it's actually almost at 2%. So you can see that uh, dairy is starting to get some traction as a result of, of some of the decisions that were made at Farmgate. Uh, what about the decision by uh, Loblaws and Metro to at least freeze the prices of, of certain products? I mean, how much is this going to, to, to give people a break? I think it, it will provide people uh, some some predictability and uh, and some immunity uh, against what's actually going on with inflation. Uh, and so the campaign is actually uh, three and a half months long, which is an eternity, especially when the food inflation rate is at uh, is at ten percent or north of ten percent. Mm -hmm. um, and and people will actually be able to rely on 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 very affordable products. The no name brand is is all about affordability. So I think we need to give credit to Loblaws for that, um, even though there's been some criticism about, about timing and everything, but at least right now, I think Canadians are, are looking for some help and, and, they'll, and they'll take the, all the help they can get. And, and I think a Loblaws campaign is, will provide them with, with some help. Uh, the fact that it's time limited though, doesn't that give people just only, you know, it's only three months. What about after that? I mean, inflation has shown some staying power. It's been around for quite a long time. Uh, this is only for three months. The, the, I, I think uh, it will help Canadians weather the food inflation storm. And we are expecting things to calm down over the next few months. And so I, I, we actually believe that the timing is good. We've seen other grocers around the world do the same thing. So we weren't surprised to see a Canadian, Canadian grocer do uh, implement a, a price freeze. Uh, now, they're freezing it at current levels. So doesn't that mean that the, the, the baked in inflation that people have been weathering, you know, 7%, uh, that still exists. I mean, it's not like they've rolled prices back to March of 2021. That's right. But yeah, absolutely. And, and, and of course, uh, it, to, to assess whether or not consumers will save money is, is hard to do because we don't know what's going to happen to food prices. But like I said, I think the campaign will provide uh, Canadians with some predictability when going to the grocery store. They won't be seeing uh, sticker shocks as much as what we've seen the last six months or so. And, and that's reassuring, for, especially uh, for families uh, who are struggling right now. Uh, last question, Mr. Chalabois. The uh, uh, Parliamentary Committee has been looking into this uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks uh, or few weeks and says that it's going to do a deeper dive into grocery prices and inflation. What do you hope to see uh, with something like that? I, I hope that the committee will, uh, will do a deep dive, exactly that, uh, into the food chain, not just uh, looking at uh, the grocery business. Um, um, I mean, a lot of things can happen to food from farm gate to plate, and uh, to only look at the grocery uh, business uh, at retail would be uh, a limited scope. I, I, think, I think the exercise deserve a much larger scope. It would be like going to a restaurant and blame the waiter for a, a cold dish or a, uh, a, a, bad, uh, a bad meal uh, per se. The kitchen is often to blame. So I think that's important for the committee to recognize that.